Let's try another distance problem. It's related to volume as well. And we want to use some uh, cool theorem to figure out the longest distance between two points in this cube. Now what do we have here? We have this volume is 8 meters cubed. The idea of a cube here is that the length, width, and height are all the same. And so if we take the cube root of the volume, we actually get this side length. So the cube root of 8 is equals to 2 using your calculator. So what we have here is uh, the uh, length of 2 meters. And this here is 2 meters, etc. Now it doesn't really matter which opposite corners we pick. I'm just going to pick this point and this point. We'll just label it A and B. But to find this diagonal distance is going to take some work. Please do not choose AB side by side or even AB here. This diagonal is, is shorter than this diagonal here because here we're using the Pythagorean theorem once, whereas here we're using the Pythagorean theorem twice, which makes it longer. So let's focus on this triangle here first. So the idea of this height here being 2, because this is the same length here, this is 2 meters. And I want to take a look at this diagonal distance here. And so what we have is this here is 2, this here is 2 meters. And we can, it may seem that like this, this doesn't look like a right angle, but it actually is just due to perspective. But this here is my C value. So we can see that C squared is equals to 2 squared plus 2 squared using the Pythagorean theorem. So C squared equals 4 plus 4. So C squared equals 8. C equals the square root of 8. So this here is equals to root 8 meters. And now finally, let me just change the color here we can calculate this diagonal because this here is our x that we're trying to solve. We can write that x squared is equals to 2 squared, that's this height here, and by the way, this happens to be a right angle, plus this side squared, which is a c. And so we know that c is root 8, but we're squaring it, so what ends up happening is the square and the square root cancel out, so we end up just plus 8. So x squared is equals to 4 plus 8, x squared is equals to 12, and so x is equals to root 12 meters, and that's our final answer. If you want to use your calculator to round to a certain number of dec decimal places, that's okay as well. <clears throat> so when given this question, the key is to recognize that this is a cube with equal side lengths and to be able to convert volume to a side length. Furthermore, you have to see that you have to use Pythagorean theorem twice and just very carefully compute your answers.